Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the dotted half notes. This is a fairly simple concept, but I want to show you what the dot means in a bunch of different circumstances. So basically, we can figure out what we're talking about by just drawing what's there. So we have a half note that has some kind of a dot. So we can start here. There's our half note. And then usually if we add the dot, it comes after the note beside the note head. So there we have a dotted half note. All right, now the real thing here is that we understand how much or how many beats each of these things are worth because that's going to apply to how long we sustain them in music and what it looks like whenever we're writing them, them down in theory. Now what we do, if we first cover up the dots, we would say how many beats is a half note worth? Two. All right? Now this dot is worth half of whatever this value is. So two plus half of, or half of two is a one. So two plus one equals three. That means a dotted half note equals three beats. All right, now if we do it again with a different type of note, just so you can see it, a dotted quarter note, for example. If we cover up the dot, quarter note is worth one, and then we need half of one, so that's half. So a dotted quarter note equals one and one half. All right, we'll do one more just so we can see it. If we do a whole note, I'm going to put a dot beside of it. Our whole note is worth 4, and then this dot is half of that 4, so plus 2, plus 6, Sorry, 6. So it means a dotted whole note would be worth 6 beats. Now, the trick here, in the last lesson, you probably noticed that I flubbed a little bit. Um, if we draw a staff, and we're in 3-4 time, so clef, 3-4, and we want to put a dotted half note somewhere, right? This one note can fill up a full measure in 3-4 time. A full measure, so it's worth three beats, right? One, two, three. Just like a whole rest can fill up a full measure with rest in 3-4 time. Okay, so now we have this dotted half note worth three beats, and we have the whole rest worth three beats also, as long as we're in this time signature. Now, whenever I'm noting the beats below it, to show that this note gets all three beats, I usually like to go like this, which tells me that they're all connected to this one note. So same thing here, one, two, three. The difference would be if I'm extending the staff a little bit and say I want to do three quarter notes, doesn't matter where they're at. So make sure you get that stem direction correct. Each of these notes, quarter notes, would get one beat, right? So one this would be worth one, and this would be worth one, so three beats. See how they're not connected because the note is only worth one beat? So just something I wanted to point out because you're going to start doing that here in the future too. Okay, and now for the practice exercises, once again, stop your video, complete the exercises, and then when you come back, we'll do these together. All right, exercise one. Write one note equal in value to the sum of the notes or rests. So we have a quarter note worth one, plus a half note, that's three, and then we want to write one note that equals to three. So we know now that that would be a dotted half note. Okay, we have a dotted half note plus a quarter note, so three plus one, that would be a whole note, right, four. Okay, and we want a note that's equal to one plus two, so that's three, again, it's a dotted half note. And then one plus one, that's two, so we'd have a half note. All right, question two, write the number of beats remaining for each example. So three, all right, this is worth three minus two, that would be one. Three minus one would be two. Four minus one would be three. And then four minus two would be two. Make sure to read the directions. Sometimes they want you to write the note. Sometimes they want you to write the number of beats. You just gotta read and know what they want. Question three, complete the measures using one note or rest. All right, so we're in 4-4. Four, four. That's important to note, right? We always look at the time signature first. So we need four beats. So one, two, three, and then we need a rest worth one, so it'd be a quarter rest. We have a half note, they want to rest. So we have four beats, one, two. That means we need a half rest here. We need a note worth three, so on, above the two, we need a dotted half. For this note, we have two beats, so we need a note worth two. That means we'll add a half note. We need a rest worth two here, so we need a half rest. And we need a note worth two, right, one and two, so that would be a half note. 
Okay, same thing, but we're in 3-4 time. 3-4 time. Maybe that'll help a little bit. So we need three beats per measure. We already have a half note, so that's worth one and two. We need a rest worth one, then, so that's a quarter rest. We have a quarter rest. We need a note worth the other two beats, so it'd be a half note. We need a rest worth all three. Remember, that would be a whole rest in this case. And then the last one over here, we need a note worth three, so that would be a dotted half. Alright, last question here, and I'll adjust as we need to. In the example below, draw a grand staff. So we do that first. We have a treble clef on top. We have a bass clef on bottom. We draw our bar line and then a brace to connect them. So there's a grand staff. Letter B, add the note stems, bar lines, and double bars. So I like to do the double bar first, so I'll scoot over here to the end and I'll slide the paper. Thicker line and then a slightly thinner line. So there's the double bar part. Now we need stems and bar lines. Let's do stems first. Remember, if it is below the middle line on either staff, the stem goes up and to the right. So we have up and to the right. Down here, so down, 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 down. Then up on the right, <clears throat> this is the whole note. Okay. Down on the left, down on the left, up on the right, up on the right. So we added note stems. Now we need to add bar lines. So four, four time. That means every four beat we get a bar line. So one, two, three, four. And they go through both both the treble and the bass clef. So four here, and that's also a whole rest. So one, two, three, four. Whole notes and a whole rest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then we're good. All right, so we add the bar lines. Write the names of the notes below the grand staff. So this first one, there's a G. Then we have G, E, G, E. Then we have an F, and then another F. Then E, D, E, and C. All right. Sorry, if you need to see the rest of that. As always, if you have questions, you can always rewind the video or talk to me in class. Have a great day.